Hello, and very happy to see you on our channel. Today, we give you a piece of breaking news from Pierce Morgan. He has savaged Meghan Markle and Prince Harry for ditching their entire families after the news the couple have signed a deal with Netflix. The outspoken TV presenter hid out after it emerged the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who quit the royal family earlier this year, have signed a multi-year deal with American TV streaming service Netflix to create TV series, films, and children's shows. Pierce made his jibe after Meghan and Harry promised to make inspirational family programming. He posted on Twitter, From two people who've ditched their entire families. Meghan has a turbulent relationship with her estranged father, Thomas Markle Sr. The Duchess is said to have last spoken to her father in the run-up to her royal wedding in May 2018. Following news Mr. Markle needed an emergency heart surgery, the worried Duchess of Sussex asked her father for more details and offered to send a security officer to protect him, according to the upcoming biography Finding Freedom. But the relationship quickly deteriorated. After it emerged, Mr. Markle set up a paparazzi photo shoot ahead of the wedding. Meanwhile, Prince Harry's relationship with his royal family has been under the spotlight following his sensational decision to quit the firm and the life he has always known earlier this year. Relations with his brother, Prince William, are said to have soured following his departure. In the royal couple's unofficial biography, Finding Freedom, which was released last month, authors and royal reporters Carolyn Durand and Obid Scobie suggested infighting among family members with Prince Harry believing his wife Meghan was not liked by some of his relatives. The book claimed Prince William feared his brother had been blindsided by lust in his haste to wed Meghan. The authors claimed the Duke of Sussex was angered by what he perceived as his brother's snobbish attitude to his bride. The book's co-authors claim Harry was offended by William's advice to take as much time as you need to get to know this girl. According to the pair, Future King William was happy for his brother, but just wanted to make sure that Harry wasn't blindsided by lust. This week, it emerged the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who are living in Los Angeles during the coronavirus pandemic, landed a landmark deal with Netflix. Piers Morgan said, Inspirational family programming? The hypocrisy of this couple knows no bounds. After the way they've treated their families? And I'm not even sure Archie exists. We've seen so little of him. This is just another platform for woke and joke to preach from. Netflix have made a huge mistake, but at least it keeps them away from the UK and they can pay what they owe for Toad Hall. Another royal expert also expresses opinion. What are your thoughts on Harry and Meghan signing a deal with Netflix to make content that gives hope and inspirational family content? This isn't tabloid news. It was reported in the Los Angeles Times, backed up by Reuters, and an official statement by Ted Sarandos, chief content officer for Netflix. As a subscriber to Netflix, I made sure to leave feedback letting them know my thoughts on it. I am not interested in watching anything they have had a part in creating, with hypocrisy on their part being the main reason. While that sounds really good on the surface, giving hope and inspiring family content, I have to admit I can't get past the source of such a message. She has a relationship only with her mom. She and her dad are embroiled in a legal battle against each other. She has little to do, nothing, with her extended family on either side, even ones that haven't done a thing to her or Henry. He has ditched his family because he claims they didn't support his wife. That would be fine if Charles hadn't walked her down the aisle, or if the Queen had not gone on record saying she was proud of his wife and not undergone social events with her and extended personal invitations to spend time with her, or if Catherine hadn't attended events with his wife. If any of those things weren't true, then yes. Absolutely, he could say they didn't support them. However, that was not the case. They embraced her, just not in the way he wanted them to. But really, she was his girlfriend, fiancé, then wife. He should have been the one to take her under his wing or arrange stop to do so for him. Out of frustration, he left. 
but he didn't just leave his family, he left his duty and obligations to his country behind too. I have zero respect for that. If he was really wanting to be just Harry, he needs to ask the government and the queen to remove his titles and to cut off any and all support he is receiving from any member of the royal family and its coffers that is historically filled with the money of his people and pays for his lifestyle. I never had an issue with Harry up until he met and married her. Now he is coming across as a spoiled, rotten, entitled brat who needs to get his head out of his behind and get back to the role he was born to have. I understand he is angry, but he is taking it out on everyone, even those that support him. It's unacceptable and disgusting. I understand he didn't want that life. Fine, I understand it's not easy to live your life in such a public way, but he could have relinquished all titles before this and lived as just Harry. He chose not to. Only he can answer why he didn't. But he also has to keep in mind that he wasn't the only one born to a life that's hard. None of us had the choice of what kind of situation we were born into, and not many of us have the choice to get out of it if we choose to like he does. For too many, only death is going to save them from the truly terrifying and painful life they have. There are people that were born and have never had a safe place to live, clean water to drink, enough food on their table, subject to diseases and illnesses that the Western world has not had to deal with in decades, if not centuries. Not to mention dealing with mental stresses that would cause instability even in the toughest of minds. How ironic. He spent so much time on a continent with such people, and it hasn't seemed to have sunk in for him at all. What does he think these people are? Props to make him look like an incredible humanitarian? They are living, breathing people that face death every day, and he is concerned about, oh, my sister-in-law didn't take my wife shopping. The horror. Again, I say, he and his wife do not seem to be living in reality. They can preach to me about family values when their own family values are put behind them. And they will be a source of hope to me when they actually do what's right, not what is selfish. A royal fan also said that their sales slogan appears to be giving hope and inspiring family content. Anyone who has been half interested in their exploits over the last couple of years will hopefully understand just how hypocritical and sanctimonious their Netflix sales pitch sounds. They just can't help themselves, can they? Have a modicum of self-reflection and humility, please. Another added, what is going on with Meghan Markle now? Well, we know Meghan and Harry say one thing and do another, so let's ignore all the podcasts, word salad, and puff pieces and look at their actions. Provided info for a book throwing stones at the royal family, but can't cash in after backtracking and claiming there was no collaboration. Harry and Meghan have spent staggering amounts of money, their outgoings must be astonishing, and that's without taxes, clothing, renovation costs, and private planes. So I think she is up to this, plainly and simply. She, they, very quickly chose to live lavishly, and if they genuinely seek independence, they would be thinking of supporting it. It's easy to see their outgoings currently as over 20 million USD a year. Most A-listers earn before they spend. I'm guessing all the treading the boards in Hollywood gives one a thick skin when it comes to what may be perceived as negative feedback, and you just plow on. Of course, Harry's daddy is assumed to be the eternal safety net. How about you? What do you think of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry for ditching their entire families? Please let us know in the comment section below and discuss them together. And as always, come back to our channel for all the latest news on the royal family, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry right here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.